energy dispersive X-ray fluorescence spectrometry, was once used mostly to test geological samples. Today, XRF is the ideal analytical technology for a really wide array of materials. In all these applications and more, spectrometers using XRF provide elemental analysis that's fast, efficient, and affordable. Plus, XRF results meet many standards and regulations you may encounter worldwide. How does XRF spectrometry work? The instrument begins by sending a beam from its X-ray tube into the sample. When the X-rays hit an atom in the sample, they excite or ionize it. So the atom ejects an electron from its inner shell. An outer shell electron drops down to fill the gap. This movement emits fluorescence radiation. The energy of the radiation equals the energy difference between the two electron shells. That difference is unique for every element. So you can identify each element by its characteristic fluorescence radiation. In an energy dispersive XRF instrument, the fluorescence radiation from the sample are collected by a semiconductor detector and the different energies are sorted and then processed at high speed in a multi-channel analyzer. The resulting spectrum shows the number of X-rays counted on the Y-axis and the X-ray energy on the X-axis. XRF technology has long been applied to deliver qualitative data, determining what elements are present in the sample. Modern XRF spectrometers can also determine the concentrations of each element present. When you want quantification, an advanced XRF analyzer can calculate results down to several parts per million, in some cases, even below one part per million. Receiving only a few signals from the measured spectrum of a specific element indicates a low concentration, while counting many signals indicates a high concentration of that element in the sample. High sensitivity combined with high count rate capability allows an analyzer to achieve high precision at short measurement times. In addition, low background combined with high sensitivity allows it to attain low limits of detection. Today, XRF technology is available in a range of products, from portable handheld XRF guns to high performance benchtop analyzers. To ensure accuracy, any analyzer needs the right sample condition. It should be homogeneous, the same mixture of material throughout, and it should be representative of the material you're trying to analyze. For a qualitative result, if you have a homogeneous sample with a flat surface, you can test as is. Just place it in the sample tray or press the nose of the handheld unit to the surface. This screening analysis should take only a few seconds. But for a quantitative test, you may have to prepare the sample. Fill liquids into a sample cup, pulverize solids, and make a pressed pellet or fused bead. Analysis may take a few minutes for this more accurate result. Also, correct calibration is critical to ensure high accuracy in a quantitative result. The analyzer may be calibrated by the factory or the user for specific matrices you expect to encounter. To sum up, a modern, next-generation XRF analyzer like Spectro Zippos can provide all sorts of advantages. Fundamentally, it delivers the fast, accurate, affordable results you need. See our white papers and reports for more details on exceptional XRF analysis.